What's up, YouTube? Uh, I've been asked to speak about the Carlos Kalina situation. Where if you guys don't know yet, um, which I, I imagine most of you know now, because Carlos Kalina was kind of in our little circle and the little sliver of our fitness community. Um, he's being held and charged. At first, he was arrested and charged with um, improper disposal of human remains, but I think now they have changed the charges to uh, first-degree murder. I may or may not be correct on that. Uh, I'm making this video in a rush in the morning. I'll look and see if I can find some links this afternoon at work when I upload this and put them down there. But uh, basically, dude... Uh, lured one of his neighbors in his house. Apparently they knew each other. Uh, got him in his house, hacked dude up, put him in a duffel bag and threw him across the street in a nutshell uh, is what happened. My thoughts on this, you know, Carlos on YouTube, you know, he was a good dude. He was always showing love. Um, you know, doing his thing. He was a bit odd. Uh, had a lot of interest in doing odd lifts. Um, and I think the light through which he seen himself was different to how other people seen him. Which was a good thing. He, he was a super confident in himself, or at least appeared to be that way, to... You know, be an overweight, chubby guy, constantly posing in his underwear and stuff, uh, noticing his gains, which, you know, funny little side story there, being that he looked at himself all, you know, big and huge and muscular, he was always telling my fat ass how diesel I was, and so anyway, but, uh, If you guys who don't have Facebook or are in the Facebook circles he was in, he caught a lot of shit on Facebook and a lot of it, you know, he was kind of his own fault. Uh, he would post in certain groups with, you know, high level power lifters and post, you know, a 185 by five overhead press which isn't bad, but in the realistic side of things, it's not super impressive. And he'd post in a group of elite power lifters, you know, like an overhead press more than you can bench, shit storms would start. Or he'd post posing videos in these groups where there's legit bodybuilders and stuff. And again, more shit storms would be ensuing. Uh, he would constantly call other people out uh, who he was bigger or stronger than, even if not by much or whatever, and uh, calling out old guys in particular. It made me think he would be somebody that would prey on the weak, which in recent events, it kind of turned out that way. Um, he had gotten to a fight at his gym before this murder situation happened. Uh, apparently it was a much smaller guy had to be pulled off of him and he was yelling I'm a beast I'm a beast um, as he was beating the guy and like that it, I want to say in one of the articles like I said I'll, I'll put links you can google Carlos Kalina at this point and links will pop up that it was a much smaller guy than him uh, like I said I could see him picking on a smaller weaker person in the realistic I don't even know what I was about to say. Uh, he's not somebody who was really a physically formidable person, you know, realistically. That's what I was trying to say. Um, you know, somebody of equal size and stuff, I don't think he would really mess with. I think he really had a problem with smaller people, like a deep, deep problem is why he acted out maybe um because like i said on facebook he caught a lot of shit and maybe that was building up he always seemed a bit like he was somebody who was probably socially awkward i think social media was probably his release and 
he, he found a good spot on YouTube. But for those of you who don't know, um, his current YouTube channel, it may or may not still be up. This is like his third YouTube channel. He had deleted his previous two uh, over some, as he said, haters. Is exactly what he told me. He private messaged me pretty frequently on Facebook, you know, about training and stuff and YouTube. Um, I, I tried to be always nice to the guy and answer his questions and stuff. Uh, sometimes came off as a little bit odd, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but there, there were some deeper issues there for sure. The whole thing where he got in a fight at the gym, like I could fathom that happening. That was something that was probably inevitable. Um, I figured he would be the type of person that, you know, if he felt somebody was smaller and weaker than him, he even said one off thing to him, he'd go off which uh, his neighbors apparently said he was a pretty confrontational person too. Uh, didn't really think he chopped somebody up, but that's uh, what happened. Apparently, uh, the investigation, they found blood all over his apartment, uh, a hacksaw with human remains on it, some hydrochloric acid or something. Some more remains were found in a trash can. He clearly didn't think the whole thing through. I'm pretty, you know, it was pre fucking meditated for sure, you know, being that he had the industrial cleaners and stuff and a hacksaw and a rope and all that shit. Uh, he planned on chopping dude up. I don't think he planned further than that. Uh, probably should have studied up a few more CSI episodes there, but. I shouldn't be joking about this. It's pretty fucking serious. Uh, I try to see humor in things, but I was asked my take on it. That's pretty much it. I could probably babble on for another 15 minutes, but you guys get the gist of it. So it's an unfortunate situation. Uh, I feel bad for the kid that got killed and his family. Uh, and dude, man, Carlos fucked up, man. That's a shame, uh, but, you know, upon, the evidence looks bad, um, we live in America, he'll get his trial, his due process, if he's found guilty, he deserves whatever they give to him, I mean, he fucking, you know, that is what it is, so, there's my take on it, uh, yeah, peace.